Welcome to my morning routine. My current morning routine is one that I've designed to kind of work on myself, become the best version of myself, and just cater to like my overall wellness and mental health. So I wanted to bring you guys along for what a day like that looks like and a typical morning in my life at this time. So I start by obviously getting out of bed. The first thing I do every single morning, no matter what, is run straight for my tongue scraper because I listen to the Skinny Confidential podcast where she was talking about how important this is and that it like detoxifies your body and then I'll do a little Listerine to just like freshen up my mouth which I'm pretty sure is not the best thing for you and you guys will probably warn me about that but I love it I love the little burn and it just makes me feel super clean and minty fresh so I'm sticking with it guys and then we're gonna head out and kind of start the day in one of my favorite ways so I like to open up all of the curtains and blinds and let the sun shine or the overcastness in, which a lot of times it is overcast in the mornings here. And then I'm just going to set up a nice little station for like my zen time, I would say. So I always like to play like some peaceful piano music or something at this time, some autumn jazz during the jazz, do some nice lighting and tidy up my space and then go into my journaling. So I strongly believe in the power of manifestation and like aligning your energy and just journaling in general. So for a couple of years now, I've been manifest journaling and gratitude journaling in the morning where I just write things that I'm grateful for or things that I want to happen or I'm looking forward to in my life and I just free journal all of these. I don't use prompts or anything but there is tons of good journals out there on the market like the five minute journal or something if you do want more prompts. Mine is from Papier and I love it and those are my favorite pens as well. And then I am going to do a little reading. I try to read a chapter of my book in the mornings. I'm currently reading this book which is about the Bushman people of the Kalahari Desert and I've actually read a few books on the Kalahari Desert and the people from there and I absolutely love it. I think it's so fascinating and interesting. Their culture is incredible. If you guys don't know, I actually have a degree in cultural anthropology, so I love topics like this and I like to sprinkle in a cultural anthro book every now and then because normally what I read is like self-help or self-improvement books, which I also really love, but the anthro books are just like a fun little scratch on my brain, I would say. And then I'm gonna do a couple of stretches. <laughs> I feel like my neck always hurts in the morning, so I like to just like roll my head out like this. It feels so good. And then we're gonna make the bed because I also strongly believe in the power of making your bed every day. I think it totally sets the tone for the whole day. It's just like a small achievement that you can cross off your list. It feels really good, it looks good, and I just think that it's really special and important, especially to me. I actually learned so much about bed making and I think I got my passion for bed making from my grandma because she makes her bed so nice and she taught me like all these cool tricks on how to do the sheets and all that stuff. So I love making my bed nice and pretty. There's tons of layers on our bed because I think that's just so fun and it kind of feels like a little art project every morning, making it look different and making it look pretty. So this is just a small joy in my life that I really think matters to me. And now she's all pretty and done. And then we are gonna move on to my 100 step skincare routine, which is not really 100 steps, but it is a lot guys because you know it's worth it i love skincare i'm fascinated by it i also think it's oddly satisfying and it's just something good to do for myself that makes me feel like i'm doing some self-love and self-care in the morning which is always good i also like to go in with my ice roller this is from the skinny confidential as well and i'll just do this all over my whole face it helps with de-puffing and helping like swelling go down it also just wakes you up in the morning and feels really refreshing i actually wake up normally super energized and with um no problems with energy i mean i, I look completely exhausted right here you guys probably don't believe me but i promise i do wake up very energized but this just kind of helps you feel even more energized and deep puffed so we love that it feels good and i think it's kind of fun it's just like a nice little ritual and then I also have this cool LED light therapy mask from Dr. Dennis Gross that I like to use every day. It's just three minutes of 
light therapy, which there's so many benefits for, and it's a really easy thing to like incorporate into your day. So it is a pricey mask. It's an investment, but I use it every day. So it's totally worth it. If you're doing girl math, of course it's free. And then I'm going to get all of my products together for the rest of my hundred step skincare routine which is a lot of stuff clearly but like i said this is just something that makes me happy it feels like i'm doing something good for myself and also i forgot to mention but if you guys haven't noticed from this video i do not look at my phone first thing in the morning so i try to spend the first hour of my day off my phone and off screens because i actually learned about it on tiktok uh -huh, funny enough on a screen that just kind of what it does to your brain for the rest of the day is not really what I want to be doing for my brain so I love staying off my phone for the first hour of the day it just kind of hardwires me to be a bit different and a less less like needy and addicted to my phone for the rest of the day so doing something like skincare instead just kind of distracts me and makes me feel like I'm doing something good and productive and it's like tactical it's not screen time which we love so I just like to indulge in my skincare and I think it's a great way too but there's tons of other things that you could do instead as well or if you want to go on your phone everybody is free to do whatever they want to but this has just been something that I've been like benefiting from and enjoying and it's definitely a challenge and something that kind of just pushes you every day but I think the benefits are definitely worth the effort and then i'm gonna put on a little bit of tanning drops into my moisturizer this is great for like going for a workout or if you don't want to wear makeup that day it kind of just like evens everything out and makes you a bit tanner which i've been loving and then i am going to go on my phone now it's been an hour so actually the first thing that i do on my phone in the morning is try to go and do a guided meditation so i'll normally just open up the youtube app and look for some sort of like grounding or clearing energy or there's so many different meditations out there so i like to find one and they're usually like 10 to 15 minutes and then i just push myself to do it and focus um work on my breathing and just try to be really present and intentional i think meditation is incredible but i also think it's very challenging um so i'm trying to get better at it i'm trying to practice it it and make it a part of my life so that I can reap the benefits of it even though especially in this day and age I think it's kind of an uphill battle but it's so worth it so I've been working on that and then Clayton surprised me with a saffron latte because he's the best and he is going to be on breakfast duty because he is the breakfast king in our house and we love this breakfast recipe in our house. It's actually halloumi and spinach with fresh garlic and ginger. It's super yummy. And it's a savory breakfast recipe that we got from the glucose goddess, which she's like this famous girl on Instagram. She's cool and I love that recipe. And then I'm gonna go in this filthy closet room of mine and put on a little activewear outfit. So I like to have pretty much the start of every day have some sort of movement in it whether it's a workout class or a workout or a walk I just want to go move my body so that's what we're getting ready for and I also like to just kind of put myself together a little bit for things like this because I realize that it makes me feel better than when I don't and it's really simple and easy and it's just like taking a little pride in yourself and you know fixing yourself up a little bit feels nice so I'll just put my hair in like a cute little bun or a braid or a pony or something like that put little tanning drops on my face maybe throw on a pair of earrings or something and it makes me feel so much more put together and it's really easy to do as well so i'll make a little extra time to be cuter i guess when i'm in, in workout mode or whatever and then at breakfast clayton and i will chit chat talk about life talk about work make some jokes flirt with each other who knows what we're doing who knows what happens at the breakfast table with these two these two being us i look terrified there and then i put on my shoes and we are going to head outside now for a morning walk which if you guys know me you know i live for a good morning walk or any time of the day actually i just love going on walks it feels so good to me to like be out in the world to be with like fresh air and nature and all the things moving my body it's just one of the best things that i can do for myself at any point in the day so i love making time for walks i think it's super important and i think it's super beneficial to me so if you guys aren't doing walks already 10 out of 10 recommend because it's life-changing 
And then once we get home from our walk, we're going to do our vitamins for the day, which is also an important part of my daily routine and my morning routine. This also helps me feel like just the best version of myself and like I'm doing something good for myself and staying on top of it, all those types of things. So we have our prebiotic and our probiotic. I take like a multivitamin. I take my hair and energy pills. I take this little like drink. I don't know. Clayton knows more about the vitamins than I do, but um, <laughs> it's an important part of our day. We do a little hug and that's it. Bye.